Hello. <laughs> that was so dumb. Hey guys, my name is Corey, and this is my first video doing a mukbang, mukbang, mukboom, mukbing. How do y'all say it? <laughs> I don't know. My friends always say I need to give it a try because I'm in love with seafood and spicy things. So I have leftover, a leftover boil because I tried a new way to cook it and it was tragic. Um, the potatoes didn't cook. None of the veggies really cooked. I saw it on TikTok and this lady put it in like a plastic bag, like an oven safe plastic bag, but put it in the plastic bag 400 for an hour. So I didn't have a plastic bag. So I got like a little banquet tray thing, put some foil over it, put it in the oven for 445 minutes. And at 45 minutes, the potatoes were literally still hard. Um, so my friend and I tried to eat it. It was not giving what it was supposed to have gave. So, um, yeah, never doing that again. Uh, today I decided to put it back into the butter sauce and just literally microwave it. And I put the, the um, potatoes, I boiled the potatoes separately so that they could actually cook. I need to get some napkin. We don't want crunchy potatoes in this house. Crunchy potatoes in this house. Crunchy potatoes in this house. So yeah, I got a little bit of crab left, shrimp, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, mushrooms. And then one of my favorite um, mukbangers eats it with pineapple. It's iconic. I've done it since I started watching the videos and, and yeah. So, and then here I have more leftovers. I'm about to leave town. So I'm trying to, you know, use up what's in the house. Cause I don't want to get takeout every day, even though it's literally all I do. Um, the tea is I love to cook. I'll probably do some cooking videos too. But when I'm in the kitchen, I want to pause. Let me get a bowl for my shells. I want to take my time in the kitchen, you know? Um, I don't want to be rushed two, three hours in the kitchen to make a meal, probably. Yeah, on average. I just really, I love cooking. So these are some Singapore rice noodles that I got. And I just added some more um, pepper. Because at the time, at the time I um, had food poisoning, I couldn't eat nothing spicy, and I legitimately felt depressed. It was like five days. And the last day, I ordered that because I was getting my wanting for flavor again. And, um, but I didn't order it spicy like I normally do, which devastated me. But yeah, I love spice. This is the spice I put in. Korean red pepper flakes. And, um, <laughs> I don't like to like mix, you know, if I'm, I'm making something Asian, Percy, get back, get back, go. I'll use, obviously I'll use, use Asian spices, but like, more than that, for heat, I'm not just gonna like throw hot sauce on that. I don't really like sriracha. I just don't. It makes everything that you put on it taste like it. That's what I find with a lot of hot sauce. But when you actually use just like pepper, you get the heat. And you don't get that cook better. 
you don't get like the vinegariness of hot sauce. I just don't like, I don't know. Obviously, I like hot sauce for like fried fish. Crystal of Louisiana, the only, only brand that will ever be eaten by me for fried fish. Um, other things I have like scorpion pepper sauce, ghost pepper sauce, whatever. Another weird thing, I do eat the legs of the shrimp because my friend said she used to do it. And so I tried it and they literally are just crunchy sacks that hold the sauce. <laughs> mm. I should do that picture for a thumbnail. Let's do that. Mm, this sauce is good. <laughs> Not the sauce spinning out. You can't have options. <laughs> um. I can't remember what I was going to say. Let me just eat. Mm. So I'm an opera singer. Um, by day. And by night, I'm who I want to be. Period. One day I might be this. One day I might be that. Who knows? No. Um, I like to do, keep myself busy. Keep the girls on their toes. Do a little one-two sometimes. Whatever that means. The cauliflower, y'all. Because it's only water, whatever cauliflower, you know, cauliflower. The water through osmosis. You know, I cook. I know my science. <laughs> Through osmosis, the water is replaced by whatever you cook it in. I know it's probably like, duh, bitch. But, I don't know. So, since I put it in the butter sauce, the butter sauce pushed all the water out. And so now it's literally just a vessel for the butter sauce. Now my hair it still like tastes like potato yeah. I'm only using a fork right now because the sauce is very hot I literally microwaved it for like 10 minutes but sorry I'm not like digging in I a lot of stuff at the bottom too like onions and stuff So yes, I'm an opera singer, and mm, y'all have to have to try the trip legs. I'm telling you, thank you, Zoe, because shrimp legs. Period. Why can I not keep a track of the, the thought? I am an opera singer. Ow, fuck. See, I told y'all. And um, I'm going to Santa Fe this summer. Santa Fe Opera, New Mexico. There is no right. It has no right to be that good. The pineapple? The pineapple. What do you mean, y'all? 
I know lemon this, lemon that, beach. Put you up pineapple on your shrimp and see what happens. He's going to Santa Fe this summer. Why am I talking about that? Was it all the way back to the leftovers? I got that sidetracked. Oh, no. I found a subletter. You know, I was so nervous. I live in Houston. In Houston, I'll play like that, like in New York and stuff with subletting and stuff. It is not a thing. It just really is not. In my apartment complex, the icons themselves um, are allowing me to sublet. And I made a post back in like April. Mm. Maybe beginning May. About my apartment, sublet.com, Craigslist, Facebook, all that stuff. And um, I got a couple hits. No one wanted to lease the whole time, you know, wasn't finding people like right in. It just wasn't quite like working out dates and what and stuff like that. Then this icon emailed me. Perfectly matched up dates. She's a travel nurse, so you know, I can trust her. And um, yeah, it worked. And we're I'm gonna FaceTime tomorrow. I'm gonna give her a tour of the place. I haven't subled before, but I'm very much like, damn, that was tough. <laughs> I'm very much the type of person who, like, opens their space up to anyone, truly and honestly. Like, I am very hospitable. Is that the word? Like, if people look uncomfortable in my space, I want to jump out the window. Like, I want to make them feel at home. Anything they want. I'm a tourist, you know, a homebody. All about friends, family, all that. Nine yards. It's true. I'm a stock tourist. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really excited to open my home up to someone I feel like I can trust I, you know I mean I'm taking a lot of stuff with me because I'm literally going to be gone for three months but I don't know what standard protocol for subletting and things um, so I'm going to like provide her with uh, brand new bedding I'm going to like buy a uh, sheet set and some pillows and um, a comforter, some towels, and then it's also, oh, I don't know, mm. Mm. damn, shit, hold up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Provide her with Lintons. And, um, gotta get all the meat out of the knuckles. <sighs> Lemons. Oh, and like a plastic mattress cover because mm, I trust her. So I'm going to get her like a little welcome home basket. Are we going to put some wine? If she doesn't drink wine, I'm also going to give her some tea. And if she doesn't drink tea, I'll put hot chocolate. And if she doesn't drink hot chocolate... There's a lot of dispenser on my fridge. And then some like travel size shampoos and things. Probably some popcorn and cookies. You know, just like, I don't know. 
It's the thought like that you're thinking and of them and you want them to enjoy their time. You want to have good rapport with them so that they don't piss on your walls and sit on your floor. <laughs> Speaking of piss, my sister FaceTimed me today. <laughs> She's gonna kill me if she watches this. Mm. Um, she said, the, she pissed her pants last night. She was drunk. She got home Ubered home, she was going to her apartment, and had to go back to her car to get something. And she had used the bathroom so bad that she sat in the driver's seat and pissed. And I said, bitch, why didn't you piss outside? Why didn't you piss in your apartment? You're at your apartment, God bless. And she was like, I really had to go. And I didn't want to pee, like, on the floor because that's nasty. And I said, and your pissy pussy in your car is not nasty. You pissed on your seats. And then she walked her pissy pussy ass <laughs> from her car to her apartment. And she said, oh, it's only the fourth time it happened. What? Oh, and just in, in general, no, like in my car. Hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? The fourth time it happened in your car. I was there for the first time. We were coming back from looking for my new car, I think. And we were meeting friends at the lake. In, I'm from Virginia. Um, this lake by our house. Like, bitches the pond. We ended up taking back roads because I wanted to take the scenic route because we drove up there on the highway and I was like, I don't know. And we're back roads. Like, you can't, there's like nothing. Racist corner stores that will um, shoot you on sight. Or shoot. If you got this on sight. So he was not going to stop. For driving, and she's like, boy, I really have to pee. There's also no shoulders on the back roads. Simply nowhere to stop unless you want to pull up in someone's driveway and also get a shotgun to your stomach. So I was like, Kai, you have to hold it. There's nothing you can pee in. We can't stop. You have to hold it. She was like, okay, we'll hold it. We get there five minutes away. She's like, you understand? I really have to pee. And I was like, Kaya, it's, it's okay. Like, we're literally so close. Please just wait. There's like a porta potty by the the parking lot. She's like, no, you understand? Like, I really have to pee. Um. So we get to the road that the lake is on. Two minutes away. She's home. Boy, I don't have to pee. I can't do it. I'm like, Kaya, wait. Hold your bladder, do not piss in my car. Well, it's now her pissy pussy car. So that's fine. But she, we pull into the gravel road, start going, and she said, <coughs> I was like, bitch, what? She's like, oh, my God, I think. <laughs> and she, <laughs> and she was like, you have to stop my car now. So I got, I pulled, I stopped, I pulled over. The bitch was running as piss was dripping down her leg, peed in the passenger seat, and then, like, peed. It wasn't like she dribbled. Like, she finished. She peed. It was soaked. And then we still went to the lake because I think she had, maybe she just wrapped something around. I don't know. Pissy. Whatever it was. We still stayed. I don't even know if she changed. She's not dirty at all. We just also, the lake is like by our house, but it, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes away. So we couldn't really go home. We had to change and come back before like sunset. We wanted to see the sunset. So 
we watched the sunset. It was her pussy pussy. <laughs> I need to stop playing that. I just saw this TikTok. And it was like a, a pee prank. And the girl's girlfriend was so mad at her. And she was like, she's like, that's why it's so yellow because you're a pissy pussy ass. And I have been saying it ever since. So. Mm. 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 Y'all, I did that. Let's talk about the sauce. One day I'll film me making it for y'all. Mmm, that one was bouncy. Boil seasoning, Old Bay, Slap Your Mama, Paprika, Chili Powder, Oregano, because I didn't want to put in herbs to be called Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Wichita Creek, Worcestershire sauce. I'll put in the ghost pepper. Mm, no, yeah, ghost pepper hot sauce. A little bit of brown sugar. I don't even know what that was, and I literally just ate it off my finger. I just wiped my nose, I think, too. You probably have to come over there. Um, and vegetable stock because the my friend that I ate it with, Emily, is a pescatarian. So I would normally put chicken stock in it, but vegetable stock for the bitch. Is this what like vloggers, how they feel all the time? I'm like talking to myself and just letting my stream of conscious run. Mm. 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 Yes, man. Y'all gotta get that pineapple. Get on the pineapple train. Get. Get. Get on the pineapple train. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, God. Mmm. The crab was cooked very well. Mm-hmm. It was cooked very well. Good job. Thank you. Um, I feel like the other, like, people who do, like, mukbang season mukbangs aren't as, like, ADD. Maybe I'll calm down. Probably not. I normally don't. Come on, give it to me. Y'all need to cut this video. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. And I think I'm done.
Trying to kill me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dang. Oh my God. I don't know if y'all know this. A lot of the snow crab shells are pre cracked. It's very easy. Normally I'll bite it if it's not. I right there. But all you gotta do, thumb, I do the thumb on like the upside of the ridge, the ridge ear part. Oh. Try to escape. And then you just literally twist it. Crack it off, twist this side, and then pull up. And you get it off. That's it. I don't know if y'all hear the bells. I can hear the bells. I live right across the street from the cathedral. And, uh, on you, Jarnop. Every day the bells ring at like noon and like, what time is it? Full five? Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a good last bite. Okay. I might pick a little bit more, but hopefully this is the first of many. Please like and subscribe. Oh, I gotta do that now. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, yeah, and see you next time. Bye.